So, hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts, where Twitch chat is distracting me from actually playing anything, but that's usually a good sign. Uh, today, uh, thank you for the uh, bits, bit, bits. <laughs> uh, there's a bit war going on in chat. Um, the We're going to take Russian 1930-era battlecruisers, two of them, up against a British battleship. And this is a slightly adapted scenario from Desert Rats. Um, so after British action against uh, Russia, so there's a lot of um, submarine warfare going on, but uh, the Russians have been kind of trying to hunt down a lone battleship. So taking on a battleship with battlecruisers is always an interesting thing to try. Uh, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, tree frog should do a scenario where you pick a museum ship based off that but fight a fleet with your uh, yeah historical ship fights are really interesting ones I'd love to do more um, historical battles and stuff once we get access to uh, saves and custom battles uh, I'm going to go with medium Medium? Small? This size, anyway. Uh, secondary towers... 15, 15, 15, 15, 17. Hmm. Well, this one's the best choice. It's the lightest and has the best stats. Um, another game I've been playing uh, off-screen is uh, Age of Sail. So if you're interested in seeing Age of Sail uh, on the channel, give me a shout. I've actually been enjoying that, mostly. Um, 50, 57 smoke. Really? Okay. Go for the tall funnel 9 then. Looks a bit odd. And if you see me clicking and doing this by accident, it's because I've been playing Age of Sail. <laughs> where it has a completely different way of rotating the camera, which is the middle mouse button, which is really annoying. Right. Uh, yep, we're going to go modern battle cruiser. Ah, oh, god damn it. See, there you go. Muscle memory. You'd think that they would harmonize that between the games, but it's completely different dev teams. 16-inch um, guns look like the best bet. Uh, Russian ships always have their... Um, Towers so far forward. It's really, uh, really weird. Um, it's going to be a reverse renown. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you, Jackie Chan, for the gift sub. Very, very kind. Thank you very much. Uh, and some <laughs> some bits. <laughs> Thank you, John Craig. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. We'll go uh, reverse renown. Uh, as is traditional with Russian ships, it's a backward ship. Uh, secondary guns aren't really important in this particular scenario. Um, I wonder if I can... No. What is the biggest gun I can fit on there? I can fit a 15. What about a 14? I can fit a 14. Hmm. I never use 14 inch guns. Let's do something a bit different then. Because I've done a reverse Russian renown type renown repulse ship before. Let's go for. Um, I don't even know what you'd call that. <laughs> reverse something. What ship had. Three triple 14 inch guns. Chat. Historians amongst you can tell me. Uh, got a pretty big weight off weight offset. I wonder. Yeah, only 1.3. It does super fire. Right, now we're into the realms of like a early standard class battleship with uh, 12 14 inch guns how about that 
I hate that turret layout. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Short. All right, Sunless. See you soon. 14, yeah, I mean, I never really used the 14s, so. Um, so, Col Colorado, uh, Prince Eugen, um, because I've just, there's a bit of a delay in chat, so yeah. Um, yeah, go with a four. Why not? Especially if we're not bringing secondaries. Right, let's, um, let's look at speed. How fast can we go on a natural boiler? Not very fast. Balanced. Hmm. 31 knots, that's more than respectable for 1930, I think. Uh, hmm, Russian Montana. Um, hello there, uh, Undutchable77. Um, any idea if smaller nations will get added? No idea at all. Uh, they haven't mentioned any. I personally would love to see the Netherlands being added. Um, I think that would make a lot of sense, as they were a large naval power. Um, as, I mean, more than some of the other nations that have been included in the game, arguably. Um, I think they would make a lot of sense. Uh, and other nations, I think, that would be good to add, maybe Denmark, or something like that. They also historically had some form of, <laughs> you know, large navy. Um, I'm going to go for a semi-realistic build today. So I'm going to go very long range and then make sure I fit torpedo protection, even though it's not necessary. Uh, we'll go with the sonar. Or we'll bring an advanced radio for no particular reason. Uh, I think I'm going to go tube powder, especially with 14-inch guns. Tube powder, super heavy, try and get as much head out of them as possible with full auto reload so quick firing and deadly that's the idea uh, probably should put some secondary guns on just for giggles how about a couple of dual five inch guns uh, we won't nestle in there how about four inch there we go some four inch dual purpose guns and uh, some I mean they're not really AA guns because there are no aircraft in the game but we can pretend a little bit of an AA battery there uh, again just for a little bit of uh, realism because I, I do find that when you try and make the ships when you try and include things like radios and torpedo protection and secondary guns even when you don't need them you can't go absolutely nuts on the armour he says, before going absolutely nuts on the armor. Let's go for a 12, 6, mm, 6, 3 is probably pushing it. Yeah, far too much. About 4, 2. 4, 2 works. Uh, 14 on the turrets. 5 on the turret top? No, too much. Still, still the double clicking. Not quite right. It is better than it was. I've been fiddling around with uh, the settings. Uh, there we go. How about that? The Archangelisk, a uh, 42,000 ton battlecruiser, which will just lie and say is a Washington <laughs> slash London Naval Treaty compliant ship. Even has the 14 inch guns. Um, why not? A little bit of an off way off. So let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Perfect. Lovely stuff. Uh, interesting looking ship. Interesting looking ship. Anyway, uh, let's go. Hey there, Dabby. How you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, so much in chat. So much, I've missed it. Uh, torpedoes. Something about torpedoes. Huzzah, you're back. Hello again, Tree Frog. Hello there, Onion. Good to see you too. Uh... Probably been asked this lots before, but do I have a rough release date for the game? Uh, I know as much as you. Um, you can buy the game now in its current form directly from the developers. Thank you very much for the bits, Jackie Chan. Um, Steam release early access is probably coming November, I would guess. Something like that. 
Um, oh, Mr. Short, Core Patch 4 will contain new nations. Uh, I'll need to check that uh, blog post when I get a chance. Um, I have been uh, scouring the game, game Lives forums, but I haven't noticed anything lately. Uh, perfectly balanced as all things should be. Indeed. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the 14 inch guns, but, you know, I need to challenge myself. I need to challenge myself. Hey there, Mark on. Uh, you need to type exclamation mark factions. <laughs> Ottomans. Yeah, there's another good shout. Oh, thank you, Private Pushing. Yep. Yeah. It now does things for the fact, the channel factions, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, two battle cruisers versus a battleship. Looks vaguely sensible. Uh, should be interesting. So we have the Archangelisk, and once the game stops stuttering, <laughs> the Maghakala. Thanks, game, for that. Great. <laughs> That's just, just what I always wanted in a video. <laughs> Completely unpronounceable things for a dyslexic English person. Oh, dearie me. Right. Round we go. I can get a nice shot of them before they uh, get blown to smithereens. Okay. Ooh, it sits really low in the water. Yeesh. That's more designed for the Baltic than uh, the Atlantic, but still doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I think the single turret looks a bit odd. The turret, there's something about the turret looks a bit, uh, the turret, the funnel. Jeez, tired. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought you'd like that, tree frog. Yeah, there's also uh, dedicated rooms on the Discord server for all the channel factions. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, come join on Twitch. Uh, it's it's fun. We have a laugh. <laughs> there is no pre-dreadnought gang. No, there's not. I think the pre-dreadnought's fairly well covered by uh, cage masts, <laughs> um, Q turrets. <laughs> They're all pre-dreadnought things. Uh, what will call patch one entail and when will it actually happen? So this is me basing my memory. Core patch one is due soon. Uh, I expect we will get some more information about it soon. And by soon, I'm recording this on July the something, 13th. Um, they did kind of say summer, so I'd expect it in about a month. At least I would expect news within a month, even if that's a delay. Um, Core Patch 1 will bring, from, again, trying to remember, uh, custom battle saves, uh, and the rudimentary beginnings of the campaign. So, Britain versus Germany, no tech, well, not the game will have a tech tree exactly, but no research, no crew mechanics, officer mechanics, uh, none of that stuff will be in there, but there will be some form of campaign. So we'll finally get a look at what the maps look like, um, things like that. Can we have quad turrets as a faction? <laughs> I think four is enough. Pre-1900. <laughs> you just want to be part of a team, Onion? Preferably with a sticker. Sadly, I cannot get you any more stickers. You already have three in Twitch chat. And the Twitch does not support anymore. Um, and uh, I don't think Discord supports stickers next to them. Maybe it does. <laughs> Hood was the perfect fit back. Yeah, battle cruiser, something. Anyway, I've got four of them. I think that's that's enough. I'm just going to switch the guns off because they're just flinging shells. Hopefully, at like 20 kilometers out. Gonna have a look at this British ship a little bit more closely. So we've got four quad turrets, um, 17 inch guns. Ooh, okay. That is, that's a pretty heavy armed ship. They can do a lot of damage. 
and I don't know. No, we are we are closing relatively quick, quickly. We're within eighteen kilometres now. <laughs> Give in to the dark side of Cage Must. Ow. Mm, 150 damage, that's less than I thought it would be. I think they're using standard shells. <laughs> yes, XCOM. I, I really do need to uh, start up XCOM again at some point. I'm kind of waiting. Pro I'm probably going to wait for XCOM uh, 3. Because I've done XCOM 2 quite a few times. Um, and there are other games I want to play campaign mode. But uh, yeah, this, this thing has terrible target lock problems. I think it's just because of the extreme range and angle. The redoubtable. Slow, 25 knots. Maximum bulk hits. 131 million to... 72, so it's relatively fair fight. White powder, heavy shells. Okay. Armor's okay. Uh, Bobbit 3. Hmm. No torpedoes or anything annoying like that. Right, we need to uh, get our guns on target in that case. Seven, eight percent accuracy is not terrible. Come on, Archangels. So, actually getting the guns into the fight. Ten percent. Good stuff. <laughs> the flamethrower, yeah, that's true. Um, ow, that was a pretty nasty hit. Right through the belt extended. Oof. I'm uh, finally scoring some hits back. Good stuff. Because the advantage of running with two ships is uh, you can, uh, you're not out of the game if you uh, get a bad hit from the enemy. Shades of Taskmaster. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to see any of the other Taskmaster Admiral's attempts. Yet, actually. Um, I know that Spartan also got two points, and Stealth I think got three this week, um, and I got two, but I don't know how uh, Sirius did, and I haven't seen the seen videos. Brother Monroe should have a go at CSGO. Hmm. <laughs> Rather I shelled it with quad turrets. Here's a funny one for you. I played the not very much, but I did play the original Counter-Strike. There you go. Show my age. Sirius got five. Jesus Christ. Ow. <laughs> oh, he's too good. He's far too good. <laughs> I think I come up with challenges that are going to mean that it's hard for him to get five. He goes and does it every week. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you very much. And Jackie Chad for the two gift subs there. Very, very kind of you. Oh, that was a good set of hits. Rudder damage. A little bit of flooding. Mind you, it might not. This is not necessarily rudder damage, although it says it. It can also just be steering damage. It seems to be different. But we are slowly poking holes. Uh, he switched fire to the Archangelus, which is good. Spread out the damage between the two ships. We're well, definitely in trouble now, though. And the bits! Thank you very much. 100 bits. Very, very kind. And another 100 bits. Thank you, son. <laughs> Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Yes. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. The only, uh, the only good, uh, well, good is a relative term, prequels. <laughs> the, the prequels. Uh, 
I better not start talking Star Wars, I'm going to start flame in the comments. Um, I'm just taking uh, heavy hits on the bow, but we'll survive that. Good hits. Game like this for Star Wars. Tree Frog, that's genius. Be amazing. Build your own Star Destroyer. Ultimate Admiral Star Destroyer. Oh, yes. That would be good. Um, there haven't been any good Star Wars strategies for ages. Uh, Empire at War was okay. Empire at War was okay. Um, team Charge, I'll get out of here. No one likes to charge. Uh, have any of you have seen the? Um, well, I guess it's not that obscure, but the uh, British sitcom Spaced. Um, there is a brilliant uh, episode in that, pretty much focused entirely on the Phantom Menace. See, that's. Think about 14, that would have been a. That should have been a kill shot. But no. Nope. Still blinking away at the Redoubtful's armor, and when I do get through, just don't quite do enough damage. Still, though, apart from flooding on the Archangelus, doing okay. Yeah, Empire of uh, Yeah, the remake mods. Yeah, I've seen that. That's good. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about Empire at War was the expansion pack that added the... Was it the Zahn Consortium or whatever? Uh, that was just really annoying. So I always used to play with them off. Um, oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Tree, get out of here. Come. Uh, we're still on firepower of that magnitude. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, corruption was absolute garbage. It's spot on, Trooper. Yeah, that's exactly what pissed me off with it. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh, I think the first thing I did was build a Death Star and blow up all the Zahn Consortium planets because I couldn't couldn't be bothered. And the land combat in Empire at War as well was terrible. But that is a common problem for... Uh, strategy games that have both naval and land combat. One of them tends to suck. Um, well, space. But it's 2D, it's naval. Yeah, the land combat was awful. <laughs> like, terrible. I hated it. Um, and uh, you couldn't even auto-resolve to skip it. Because if you did that, you just incurred enormous losses. Like, you'd invade a invade a rebel planet that was held by, like, one rebel trooper squad with 20 8080s. And then it would just... Yeah, just... They would lose. Or they would win, but they would lose seven of the 8080s. And you're just like, what the hell? And you're like, oh, well, I'll add a whole bunch of dark troopers and all the rest of it. And you still lost. It is so... Just casualty rate through the roof. It was just annoying. Which is why you build a Death Star and just blow all the planets up. And then you win. Thank you for the bits. On this. Oh, single bits. Do I play Stellaris? Uh, yes, as I am quite correctly point out. I do. I have actually played... Uh, the Star Trek Solaris mod on stream. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I did a did a full campaign playthrough of that. I love that. Star Trek New Horizons mod. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Your bits are now an acceptable number. One planet held by R2D2. <laughs> yeah, only. <laughs> and you have legions of stormtroopers, 8080s, Darth Troopers, uh, Darth, led by Darth Vader, and you still lose. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> yes, you can find the Star Trek stuff. That's all on YouTube. Uh -huh. 
to go digging for it. You just got Stellaris and it's driving you nuts. It's um, it's an interesting game. I, I like it a lot, though. Uh, it's, uh, once you get into the swing of it, there we go. Flash fired. <laughs> oh dear! Someone left the uh, flash protection door open again. Whoops. Well, that was fairly successful, actually. Uh, Pretty pleased with the performance, and still not convinced by the 14s. I think the 16, 15s or 16s would have been more effective, but uh, a fun ship nonetheless. And uh, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much, Skull, for the uh, bits. <laughs> and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.